What's up fam? Welcome to I Speak Organized. Today's video is another declutter and organize with me video and I'm gonna be working on my linen closet. This video is part of my decluttering to move series. My family is getting ready to move in two short months and so I am slowly working my way through our home decluttering as I go to make sure that we're not moving a whole bunch of stuff to our new space that we're not gonna use. And I'm trying to make our lives just a little bit easier by putting in a bit of extra work up front. I totally encourage you to get up and declutter and organize with me. This is a time for us to keep each other company. I make these videos as much for myself as I do for you. It's my own form of accountability. And while we're decluttering and organizing, I'll be giving you tons of tips and mindset strategies along the way to help you bust through any roadblocks that you may have when it comes to deciding whether or not something deserves to take up space in your home. I'm full of ideas. I've got tons of product suggestions to share with you that will be down in the description. I'll go through all that good stuff. So I encourage you to stick around and let's get into it. What's up and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Melanie Summers, professional organizer, decluttering expert, and productivity-based life coach. I like to speak organized to give you the tools to conquer your clutter, live life with more purpose, and learn all about the business of tidying. Do me a favor, however you're here today, look at the screen of your device and tap that little subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel and I would be honored to have you as a member of the speaker fam. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tap that little notification bell so you're notified every time I post new content. Also be sure to follow along with all of the fun that we have on Instagram and TikTok. I am at I speak organized and I will have that of course linked down in the description below. And if you're looking for a super supportive community of organizing and decluttering enthusiasts, or you wanna start your very own business in the dream field of professional organizing, I encourage you to join my free Facebook group. There's tons of folks in there that are always jumping in to support each other, ask questions, give advice, and just kind of have each other's back. Click the link down in the description. It will be there for you to join that group for free. Okay, fam, are you ready to see this closet? Here we go. It's uh, very small and it's got so many different types of things in here. So it serves as a multi-purpose space. So I don't know exactly what's going on up there. It's pretty well organized. Like it's got a pretty good system. It's not the prettiest closet you've ever seen like the the most aesthetically pleasing uh organizing system but i like to use and repurpose what i already have for the most part so that's kind of what i've done i'm thinking that after we move we might go for more of a uniform look and i may upgrade a lot of the storage systems and bins that i have in here but again i'm not going to be buying anything and i encourage you not to do that either until you know uh, the measurements of the space and what you're going to be keeping so that's super key So today is really more just about decluttering and organizing the space that I have so I'm going to be working with what I have on this side um, Up here. I've got some coordinating bins with all kinds of random stuff. They are labeled and hopefully they Are what they say they are in there and then a selection of coats that definitely needs to be thinned out. There's like random things all over the place here down below. I don't even know what is going on next to the suitcase. So um, again, it is just a small closet. And so it's one of those spaces that is pretty easy to declutter and organize, but it also gets messy really, really quickly. This is something that I like to try to do at least once a year. And that is the case with most of the spaces that I work on. And so I encourage you with a space like this, to try and get to it at least once a year, just to make sure that you know what's in there because you think you'll remember, but you don't. You just, you don't remember all the things that are in a space. So I'm gonna get to work. So the purpose of today's video is for us to get up and declutter and organize together. So I hope that you take me up on that offer to just get started on the project. But even if you are just wanting to sit here and watch me do that, that's totally fine too. I'm gonna be here to give you as many tips and strategies as I can along with 
lots of cool product suggestions. I can't wait to share all of these things with you so that when you go to work on your own space, you feel armed and ready with all the information you need to be a total success, which I know you will. So we're gonna dive right in. And I wanna talk to you about my linen closet because it serves as more of a multi-purpose space. And you may find that you have closets like that in your home that serve more than one function, which is totally fine, but we need to make sure that we are organizing it effectively because the space like that can be very tricky to organize when it doesn't serve a singular function like a pantry or a closet just for linens or clothes, etc. So when I work with clients who need to organize multiple types of items and routines in a space like this, the best thing to do is break the space down into zones. Do the best you can to keep items for a particular activity grouped together so they're easy to find when necessary. The other important thing to do if you're using organizing product is to use bins that are clear or clearly labeled. I also try to match the size of the container to the item as much as possible, meaning that little items don't go in big giant bins to get swallowed up at the bottom of a large bin where it's gonna get damaged or lost or whatever. So we're trying to put smaller bins inside the larger ones to contain smaller items so things are easy to access and they're not floating around all willy-nilly. All right, so I imagine at this point we're on a roll and we're well into this process. So we're gonna have a little pep talk because I know that our motivation starts to wane as we go through this process. You start pulling things out and getting overwhelmed by the amount of clutter surrounding you and you're trying to figure out what to do with it. So it's okay to sit and take a little bit of a break and just get a bit of a pick-me-up, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. And I wanna take the opportunity while I'm doing that to introduce you to Magic Mind if you are unfamiliar with it. It is an energy supplement, very, very healthy. It's got nootropics and adaptogens in it, as well as a whole host of super healthy ingredients. I'll make sure to pop those up on the screen so you can check it out. And it just gives you that little bit of extra energy and focus without a bunch of crazy jitters and a whole host of really gross ingredients that are in some of those energy drinks. I don't even know what they are, but this is my answer to that little afternoon pick-me-up for sure. And it has just the right amount of caffeine in it so that I'm not gonna be drinking it. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm not gonna be drinking it now and not able to go to sleep later, but it is going to start working super quickly to help give me the energy and focus that I need to push through this project. So I encourage you to go down to the description to check out Magic Mind if you're looking for a way to supplement your energy throughout the day, but you want something that's a little bit more healthy and they have their new 4.0 formula now. It emulsifies really, really well. It doesn't have that grainy texture that some of the previous versions of Magic Mind used to have. It's got a really nice smooth finish and taste to it. I actually really prefer the taste of this uh, versus the old version because it has agave instead of honey, which also makes it 100% vegan friendly. I love Magic Mind, my husband loves Magic Mind, and I'm sure you will too, which is why I've got a sweet discount code down for you in the description. You can click it and get 20% off, so I encourage you to go down there and check it out. And as always, I wanna thank Magic Mind for being awesome and sponsoring today's video. When it comes to linen storage proper, like we're talking about our towels and our sheets specifically whenever possible I actually prefer to store those bed linens in the bedrooms where they'll be used it eliminates that conversation that you have with yourself like what size are these whose gray sheets are these because everybody's got like four pairs of gray sheets and I like to store entire sheet sets together inside of one of the pillowcases so there's no separation of sets and I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to do that in just a moment we unfortunately don't have enough storage space in the bedrooms and bathrooms in this house to store corresponding sheets and towels. So I instead use clearly labeled baskets to keep each type organized. Okay fam, I'm gonna show you a very quick fitted sheet folding tutorial and then I'll show you how I store all the sheet sets together. And there's just a couple little tricks to it, it's nothing crazy. And if you are somebody who rolls and shoves, I'm gonna try and show you 
how easy it is to fold a fitted sheet once you know the tricks. And I'm even gonna use my most difficult sheet, the king size sheet, to show you just how easy this process can be. So the biggest thing is that you have a big flat surface. You can either get down on the ground, like I'm doing here, or if that is uncomfortable for you, just use your bed. That's the best place to try to fold a fitted sheet. So the first thing you wanna do is spread that sucker out and find the two corners. And it doesn't matter if it's the long side of the sheet or the short side, the folding will occur the same way. So I just make sure that I'm making pockets here for the other two pieces to fit inside. And so I found the seam, I think, yeah. I'm gonna put my hand inside each side of the seam to create little hand puppets. And then these go inside, so we're gonna nest them inside the top of the fitted sheet. So match them with the other seams, put them inside just like that. So you've matched the two sides, folding the fitted sheet together. And then I'm just going to flip that up. It's stuck to my shoe here. Flip it up and lay it down. So you're gonna kind of mold the sheet into place because it's got the elastic in it so it's not as easy to fold like a traditional sheet so you have to treat it a little bit differently and so I take my hand and put it across my body while holding the end here and I just push to straighten out the side as much as possible because we're gonna try to create a box and then I do the same thing on the other side take this corner here grab my other arm pull it across my body and just pull and tug to create this nice box shape. So it may look kind of like a hot mess right now. I don't know if you can totally see it. I'll scoot back a smidge here so you can see the sheet. So it may not look totally perfect yet, but we're gonna smooth the edges out as we go. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is take the bottom up and just kind of fold it to the center of the sheet here. And then I'm gonna take the sides and tri-fold them. So one side comes in, the second side comes up and over the top. Again, still not looking super beautiful at this point, but we're getting close to what we want. And then I'm just gonna kind of smooth out all the edges here. And at this point, you can either tri-fold it again or just fold it in half and smooth all the edges on each side. And then you can fold it in half again, if need be. Um, I think how I'm gonna be storing this is gonna require that I make a pretty small little package. And that's really all it is to folding your fitted sheet. Doesn't need to be super perfect, but this is the easiest way that I have found to fold it. Okay, so once you've got that in place, grab the rest of your sheet set so you have your flat sheet and then three of your pillowcases so I just kind of line them all up and then place it on top of my fitted sheet. I have folded my fitted sheet so that it matches the size of the rest of my sheets here so that everything makes one nice little package. Okay and then I take the fourth pillowcase, the remaining pillowcase, if you have two, that's fine, you know, just make sure that one is left out. And I may actually put the pillowcases, I'm gonna nest them inside the flat sheet here just so they don't come spilling out just in case. And that's gonna keep everything solid and together. So at this point, I'll turn it around so you can see it from this way. I'm going to place this whole package inside of the pillowcase. And we're not gonna put it all the way to the back. This is just the little trick that you do with this. So I keep it towards the front of the sheet. So I'll just gently guide it in just to the front. And I've got the seam 
the spine of the sheets facing out so that um, it's not, I don't have this part hanging out so that things don't come spilling out. Plus it looks a little bit nicer. I kind of push it to one side so there's a little bit of slack on the end here. And then all I'm gonna do is just kind of tuck that up like that so that it's nice and taut. And then I'm going to fold this in and up and over. Fold it in a little bit if you want to and then I just fold that little extra flap into the top like that. You also, if you have multiple sheet sets, you can store them vertically this way rather than stacking on top of one another if you'd like so you can actually file them on a shelf and everything kind of stays together in one nice neat little package and it's as simple as that so hopefully that helps you out okay fam i'm also really excited to share this with you because i just got a new planner so i wanted to take a second to show it to you it is my list simplified and it was created by two of my friends who are also professional organizers from release repurpose and reorganize and they have made just such a cool efficient little planner here so i like to use this particular planner for project planning and they designed it for their clients who tend to have little bits of notes and pieces of paper scattered throughout the whole house and it isn't cataloged or processed in a super organized way and their notes get lost. So if that's you, this could be the perfect solution for you. And I, like I said, use it primarily for project planning. Since my family is getting ready to move, this was the perfect solution. So I'll pop up the page on the screen so you can see what it looks like. The thing that makes this so efficient and unique is that it is undated. So you can use it as a daily planner, you can use it as a weekly planner, and you can pick it up at any time throughout the year. It doesn't start in January, so you have a lot of flexibility there. I love how simple it is and straightforward. I love how affordable it is. So if that sounds like the solution that you need in your life, I of course, have a link down for you in the description to check it out for yourself. As a professional organizer, I work with a lot of different types of hangers, and so I have learned the difference between the types, what their actual function is, and I have my favorite, so of course I have to share my favorite wooden coat hangers with you. I love the wooden coat hangers that we have in here with the non-slip grip, and that is the key to a super functional wooden hanger. I don't prefer to use velvet hangers in coat closets because they often warp and break under the weight of heavy jackets. Good quality wooden hangers are definitely the way to go and the grips at the shoulder make it so the coats don't fall off even if you don't zip or button them up when you put them away. I've linked my very favorite wooden hangers with velvet tips that keep the coats in place perfectly. They are my new hanger obsession. All right, let's go check this out. So first of all, these are things that are being donated. This was a really cool idea. It's kind of more of like a craft holder thing. It's meant for smaller supplies. I was using it for survival gear. The compartments are, it's just too finicky. So I needed something that was just an easier like open bin, dump and go type of thing. So as much as I love it, it's gonna have to go. Okay, so in we go. Show you what I've done in here. So up top is like memorabilia stuff. My husband has a pair of baseball shoes up there. Don't know what he wants to do with them, maybe sell them. We have freeze-dried food for emergencies. I You can't really see because the light's not great, but up there we've got birthday bags. I put them in a reusable bag, which is a lot smarter, um, and thinned out the collection a little bit, and then thinned out all the craft and hobby supplies, the miscellaneous utility, not super happy with these bins, but they work for now. So I'm just gonna keep them until we move. And batteries in there. So those things are all contained. Like I was talking about earlier, the bins act as zones for each type of thing and they're clearly labeled so I know what's what. Then down here is my kids craft supplies. I also have my little hand vac cause it's like the only place that it would fit 
and it's something that I reach for frequently, so it's really easy to access. Up here, I forgot, are like, this is my solution to a junk drawer. I use these stackable drawer systems instead to store a lot of miscellaneous things. So I've got things for picture hanging, hardware, zip ties, baby proofing. I've got all my moving labels ready to go and stuff that I reach for for work. And then this one down here are things that I reach for more often. So things like matches and lighters and adhesives, which is any type of adhesive like tape or glue. Um, I also use adhesive remover pretty frequently. So that is bagged up and stuck in there as well. And then batteries and chargers, those are obviously things you reach for pretty frequently. So there's all that nonsense. Clean up the towels over here. Um, got rid of some that were extra or left over from old sets that I've gotten rid of in the past. So now I know I have matching sets of towels, uh, hand towels and washcloths in there. I have utility towels and towels for the gym down below extra sheets in here. I've got extra king size sheets in this thing. My little linen mate storage guy. This is oversized bedding down here and a few other extra like tablecloths and miscellaneous linen items. And then that right down there is where I keep my kids dechokers and I want those to be super easy to access should I need them. So that's that side of the closet. I'll take you on the other side show you up top these are my utility bins they are clearly labeled it's where we keep all of our party supplies for birthday parties and such um, all that stuff is pretty well organized up there and we do use most of it so we keep it all handy for parties my husband likes to keep the physical copies of manuals for all of our small appliances and electronics, and he actually does refer to them. So I let him keep them and they sit in that cute little bin up there and he can just grab them when he needs. And then we have our survival gear in repurposed into this large tote up here that's easy to grab. Uh, and then coats and everything got thinned out still quite a lot the space is just kind of small which is not my favorite but again we're moving so whatever um i was able to get rid of a few things that i know for sure i don't wear and then i don't touch my husband's stuff because he's really good at this process too so i'm gonna let him take care of all that and then i turned the suitcase sideways not entirely sure why i didn't do that in the first place but it freed up more space for me to put my oversized rain boots and my snow boots and then our soft coolers in the back and that's it so this whole closet is all done and very manageable much more functional and got it all done in about a couple hours so pretty pleased all right fam that is going to wrap it up for today's video thank you so much again for sticking around to the end if you have questions please comment down below show us some love by giving a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure if you're interested in getting that little pick me up going in a more healthy way check out magic mind down in the description remember you get 20 percent off with my discount code all the information is down there available for you there's also a link to my new favorite planner my list simplified down there be sure to check that out don't forget to follow along on instagram and tiktok and join my free facebook group so that we can hang out together every single week we have lots of fun in there and beyond that i hope you all have a fabulous day and i will see you in the next one bye